Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, time to change the plugs and wires on the Ford Explorer here. So, this side doesn't look too bad. It's the driver's side here. This looks pretty easy. Uh, unfortunately, as we walk over here to the passenger side, it is not the same story. There's and a when lot I bought this, there. the guy talked to me about somebody screwing up spark plugs trying to change it but it was supposedly fixed so unfortunately fixed in my mind is a lot different than other people's minds so we shall see hopefully things don't go downhill from but on this case that is going to be really almost impossible to get from the top and in my midst of looking around and messing around and trying to see how to get that thing out i think i've decided i'm going to take this wheel and tire off here and I am gonna go through there uh, I know I'm not the first to figure this out but usually when you can't figure out how to get to spark plugs very well um, there's a good chance you need to go through the wheel wheel which is where we are we're on the passenger side wheel wheel of the Explorer here and uh, now on this I've done the brakes over here I've done the shocks over here so go check out those videos if you've uh, need to know how to do brakes or shocks all the way around on an Explorer um, little plug there but once again we're gonna pull this off just like we did with the shocks and I got my little tool here and yet again if you hadn't watched that one this is all plastic so it doesn't really work to pry so I pretty much just get behind it and pull Originally, I was gonna get these front two um, from up above but honestly I can reach one right here and the next one is back here um, now just relate yourself from the top of the shock and here and when I'm doing plugs and wires uh, I like doing it one at a time especially on something like this where you got to snake stuff through and you're not sure exactly which wires go into which one um, so I'm gonna go ahead and here's the wire here that's the back one back here um, spark plugs just right directly up through here um, it's gonna be impossible really to to show you on film exactly what in here is these E3 spark about plugs. these E3 spark plugs you cannot gap them uh, the gap that they come with is pretty much the gap you get so if you're not using E3 spark plugs whatever other plugs you're using you need to check and see what the gap is um, I have noticed that you definitely want one of these flexible headed wrenches if you can get one this one has a bend in it that actually perfectly fits up in there and I can get around some of the stuff so I'm putting the E3's back in and I am going to go ahead and put some anti-seize on it the light we've been using down below and I'm just going to reach down there and look for how the spark plug wire which it looks like it if I reach down behind the I think it's the AC box uh, there's the wire right there hanging down so I'm going to carefully pull it up and basically you're gonna follow this all the way back so you can unhook it uh, it's not rocket science but you do want to keep an eye like now there's a clip all right there's a clip right there so I'm gonna pop it out of that clip and I'm going to keep following it all the way over and you want to keep track of where those clips are because you want to clip it back in you want to pretty much put it the same route unless you notice the last guy uh, really screwed something up and put it on something hot or something like that all the way over to this one uh, it only had the one clip move this out of my way a little bit if I can nope I can't um, move that out and it's this back one right here you can squeeze these together they got kind of clips that squeeze uh, on this one now there are two different kinds types of these so it depends on which one you have this one you squeeze it together and pull up on it and uh, hopefully Spark plug come wires up. across the front here and I got them going from longest to shortest and if they're the same I just kind of put them with with each other um, there's only two that are the same in this one long one two sort of long ones one fairly short long one and one short one so um, according to the measurements I'm getting the first one I pulled off is the longest one so that's got me a little concerned considering the other ones are further forward but 
we'll see I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull off um, a couple of them just to make sure um, usually I don't like to do that because you end up mixing up wires but I do want to make sure that I didn't get the wrong set here transmission fluid dipstick in front of that you'll see that orange thing there hopefully the one in front of that is the one I'm trying to get off to check and see if it is longer than the one uh, that I've already pulled off but I'm seeing that there is a real pain in the butt now I popped it loose now you got to pull it up and the problem I'm having is uh, it's stuck behind all this stuff right here and unless you do it just right you ain't getting it out of there so I've been playing with it for a while here and there you got to pull it almost all the way up to where it's hitting those and then kind of fish it back right by there's a like bracket and you got to bring it over the top of that bracket but it just barely fits over this bracket and fish it back and then it, it's hooked it was hooked into this little uh, clip right here which is by the heater hoses here uh, I'd already actually popped that off I should have showed you that first um, and then just start kind of fishing it up but you got to get it around in front of the other one so now I'm kind of popped it up through there right through between where the rubber heater hose and the metal part is right down through here what a pain um, now it should just fish back to the other side just like the other one it runs pretty much the same one over here that is not here anymore uh, was the one that went to the difficult to get to one uh, spark plug wise and then the one that's coming from the other side comes around and goes to this back one opposite of it and comes out um, so uh, this hose is getting in the way but should be able to get that out all right now we're going to check fit on that one because i would think that would be one of the longest ones right there but now i can kind of see it's not so i think we got the right kit longest one um and i have a feeling that next one next to it will be there um these are the ones i got are just a an inch maybe longer actually uh which shouldn't make a big difference so i think we're good now i'm just going to go ahead and start replacing the spark plug wires back just reverse of what i just all right now because i took the spark plug wire off of this one and by the way i got the spark plug wire back on the back one there um we can see this one a little better um, i went ahead and popped the wire off of that uh, when i was checking to see if it was the right sizes and so that's the next one I'm going to do. Front one on the passenger side here. I also went with just a regular 5 8 deep well socket here and a regular uh, ratchet with an extension here. And I'm probably going to get in your way with my hand here. These are way tighter than they need to be. Back in here. Uh, try not to get it to where. There's a bunch of stuff on it here. I know I'm probably in your way. Uh, main thing about this is I want to show you I'm doing don't it by ever, hand. when doing spark plugs, use air nor electric nor any other kind of automatic tools. Um, they're just a disaster waiting to happen. Spark plug um, wire back on here, run it through and bring it back down here. Although I might have to actually take this one off because I think the other one kind of ran over the top of this one. So it might be easier to pull this one off next. Um, if for some reason, I probably am just going to pull this one up. I won't unhook it from the coil yet until I get the other one hooked back in. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you if anything changes. And I, But I am going to take this one and just kind of pull it up through and try and get it up through. Uh, there's the one we just did right there. The ratchet's still on it, still tightening it. So I'm just going to put on the passenger off. side. If anything changed, I'd tell you. Well, we got the 5 8 socket. It's just a regular socket. We got an extension, and then we got this curved handled one, and the handle actually rotates. I will give you a better look at this wrench when we're all done here. Uh, you're definitely going to want that wrench uh, if you can find one uh, to do this job. Uh, for these back two back here or it's going to be almost impossible to do it with a regular wrench I'm sure you can do it but I wouldn't want to
All right, this spark plug job just doesn't want to be done. I went to uh, lay out this uh, older wire here. This is the middle one, and it actually is longer than any of these three here. Now do you see what's missing? Yep. I'm actually missing a wire out of that box. Um, it was all tied together inside the box, but they've been laying up here. I've looked all over. It's not on the floor. It's nowhere. I haven't moved them from up here. They've been laying over here the whole time. And uh, that one is longer, so I should have had another long one. And I went back and looked at the video, and yep, I only got five wires in a... This is a V6, so I need that other one. I'm fighting a cold. I went back to the store. Uh, they did allow me just to replace the one spark so plug wire. We're back on track. Got all the wires and, and the places put this cover back on. Uh, now we're all buttoned up over here. We got the wires done over here. Spark plugs done over here. Uh, now we've got to go to the, the other, other side. side. I'm not going to show you how to do the spark plugs here. Um, it's just a matter of... Uh, the wrenches that I'll show you. If there's anything other than a normal uh, wrench with a socket on the end, I will tell you. But everything else um, is exactly the same. You pull it out, you put a new one in, change the wire. Now I will show you kind of the routes of the wires and which one they go on. Just so in case for some reason uh, you choose to pull all the wires off, uh, you'll have a better idea anyway of uh, where the wires might go back if you have exactly the same setup I do. Uh, guys who designed this for the spark plugs started making this a sick joke um, because of this tube right here uh, I don't even know what it is heater hose some sort of tube right here which doesn't appear it's metal so it doesn't appear to be easy to get out of the way uh, we got the my regular ratchet here I got two extensions on it and the socket and I had to take the oil stick out um, the dipstick because uh, the handle was in the way there but after that you can get to it fairly easily uh, it's just a matter of figuring it out and uh, so I thought I'd show that in all the years I've been doing this I've never had to use the uh, where you take a piece of hose and put it on the end of spark plug and twist it on in there I really don't like that method um, if I can, I want my fingers on that when I'm putting it in. Um, and if it doesn't absolutely go with no problem at all, stop and restart um, again. Now I got my socket that's got that rubber piece in the end. And what that is meant to do is when you pull them out, you can stick that on there and it helps pop them out. Problem is, when you put them in, if you stick that all the way on there, it's kind of really hard. And half the time you'll get this out and then it's almost impossible to get this off. Uh, that's what happened to me uh, on that first one I did. A uh, little tip when you're putting them in, if you're going to use it this way, and the only reason I would do this is because I just can't reach back where I want to get this, but I can get a socket and a couple extensions down in there, and then I'm going to carefully by hand turn it like this. Uh, another thing, don't forget your uh, anti-sat is that if you only stick it in just to where you get right on the end of one of those uh, nuts there so you can turn it, uh, don't stick it all the way in. That way when you pull, go to pull it out, it comes out pretty easy. Uh, just don't push it in there real out out here and try not to get too much dirt and crap on it, but inevitably you're gonna hit something on your way in usually. And I'm just turning it. I'm not doing it until I get it on there and I can tell that the threads are actually going it's in, in there, just well. do it by hand and uh, save yourself a whole heap of trouble and once it stops give it a little bit of a and that's all you need you don't need to refund these all right and last one <laughs> I told you if anything changed I would tell you I got the uh, socket on there I got a couple extensions and then I went back to this curved one because quite honestly if you got a regular ratchet you're hitting into all this stuff right here so uh, yet again this thing has saved me I'll show it to you at the end and I went to put these all together and I wind up with this one big long one uh, I don't know and uh, what I need is three fairly short ones ones a couple of them are about the same size here and uh, one of them is is real short now i got a pretty good real short one but these two are way longer than i need 
so I, I'm just gonna take these in and see if I can find something that'll work better because I don't need anything this ridiculously long and uh, that just doesn't help the performance nor the uh, routing of the wires very much so uh, I would definitely say I would not go with these uh, as we go right now it's the uh, Ultima Select all right now with these wires I kind of took a look at them and I looked at how they should be routed and this front one was actually shorter than uh, the actual routing that I believe it should have taken so I took one of the little bit longer ones and put it on the front one here it goes up there's the front spark plug right down from here there's a clip here then it goes behind these uh, I don't know hoses here I don't know what this is exactly goes behind that and there's actually a clip right behind that right around there goes... okay so we went behind that and across here and there's another clip right there where you can see the hose going across here or not the hose the wire and I put that one in the one furthest over uh, towards the side there there's only two clips there and then I brought that up and it goes on right here so made that one work and then the one in the back as you can see starts right there there's a clip right up above it right there brought that up through this last clip that's actually on the coil up over and into its spot over on that last uh, one over there now this middle one all I got is a really long one left. I'm going to go make them give me a shorter one for it. Um, all right. Uh, and you probably noticed also that this wasn't in my way. I went ahead and uh, popped this uh, vacuum hose off here and uh, got it out of my way so I could work on this. Uh, it wasn't real hard. So, uh, yet again, if it's in your way, out good the figment out. of these wires here might not so much be the fault of the actual wire company I will give it to them I don't know for sure but here's the issue I'm having production date on vehicles now um, I've had problems with this in the past with certain things um, but I guess it's starting to get a lot worse and here's the deal my wires were orange that were originally on it and the ones they gave me in the box were the black ones and when I went to take it back because I needed to finish this off and get this one last one done uh, like I said the wires just aren't really matching up and this last one was just way too long uh, finally after like talking to three different people and going to two different stores uh, they figured out that there was a production date difference got the different production date box out and it was orange and it actually had one that matched up with this one here well I got black ones in here now and I didn't want an orange one so they went ahead and think I gotta give them a little bit of thanks because technically they weren't supposed to they gave me uh, one out of the box uh, that was closer in size which was a black one because I really didn't want one orange one in there um, and so we're gonna make it work this one's a little bit longer than that one but not by much uh, I just need to get this done it should work fine it's not like this is a performance rig that I need to really uh, worry about every uh, centimeter of length in these but anyway uh biggest lesson learned here is check the production date on your rig and uh the uh, month that's made that year might uh be the difference in even plug wires the way they do it so uh lesson learned next time i will definitely be using the orange plug wires if i do this next we're time. completely done getting the wires finally on this thing uh spark plugs on yeah. wires comes up and there's a clip right there comes over goes into the clip back there comes up behind this uh, pack here again this is just a bunch of wires that connect together right here basically uh, it comes up through here and goes to the middle yeah, one here spark plugs now I got them all out of the rig uh, this is the passenger side front to back driver side front to back um, and I don't know how to read plugs all that well I kind of look at them and 
uh, rem then I figure out what's wrong with them and then I look somewhere to find out uh, what that problem might be. Now this one looks like it's stripped but if you look at it real close it's actually a whole bunch of anti-seize that was in there or some something like that so I'm thinking this might be the one uh, that he really had a problem with and they did something so I'm hoping I don't have any issues um, and I don't know if they like glued it in there or what but we'll see uh, as problems arise you'll know about them and we'll take care of them uh, this is the one that I know I was having issues with the spark plug wire. I noticed uh, a bad spark plug wire. It was uh, jumping all over the place and sparking all over the place uh, from the boot to the block or to the head actually. Um, and then uh, the rest of them don't look horrible. They're a little dark and dirty and rusty. I noticed rust on, on them pretty bad. But as far as anything else um, they at least pretty much, except for the two, uh, look all pretty well the same, uh, burning close to the same. This one and this one definitely look a little bit oilier, um, but uh, yet again, if I have problems that arise, uh, I'll take care of them later. Alright, now here's the wrenches that I used. Uh, you got your actual spark plug socket that has a little boot in it for taking them out. The one that doesn't for putting them in. This is actually just a deep well socket. 5 8 I'm pretty sure I told you that but they are both 5 8 couple of extensions um, on the passenger side I only used one extension. On the driver side I used two extensions on both. This is the Wonder Wrench here. It has a swivel head on the top here. Um, and a bit of a bend in it. Now that bent, bend right there is what saved me in along with that swivel head. I was able to get it in the places I needed it. So honestly, to do this job, I would almost say you need that wrench or something similar to it. Um, now I'm sure if you want to wrestle with it and fight with it even more than I did, uh, you could get it with just a regular wrench or... Here. Uh, maybe a shorty one, uh, something like that. I got a shorty one here with a swivel on it. I actually did use this on the middle one on the passenger side, but I didn't really use it for very long. I don't think I really needed it. Um, I just thought it might make life a little easier, but really this this was the, the king of it all right there. Um, this one here, um, honestly, I got from my dad. It's Taiwanese, 3 8 ratchet, um, but I mean, the thing is solid even this is metal here I mean there's not a, a hunk of plastic anywhere on this thing so uh, yet again this I'm sure my dad bought that you know 20 years ago if not more so uh, probably actually probably closer to 30 years 40 years who knows and then obviously just a regular wrench or socket wrench anyhow uh, that one right there I would I would say you need it uh, I really would. Should be all good. Should be all done finally. Uh, this will probably be a good, bad, and ugly video. But such as it is, uh, this is Sam, Jack of all, and obviously Master of None. You all have a good one.